Hi everyone, this is Nat and welcome back to the Crypto Squad channel. In today's China's Who's Who video, I'm going to talk about the first man who translated Bitcoin's white paper into Chinese, Wu Zihan. So a bit of background about Wu Zihan is that he graduated with a dual degree in economics and psychology at Peking University. And then he went on to become a financial analyst at a private equity firm. So he first discovered Bitcoin because he saw people buying computer hardwares and IT services online, such as on forums like Bitcoin Talk. But then he felt like Bitcoin has to break out of its niche market and in order to have higher adoption rate, uh, Bitcoin needs more infrastructure to support it. So in May 2011, after discovering Bitcoin, he raised 100k yuan uh, from his friends and families and purchased 900 Bitcoins. He then also started China's first Bitcoin community site called 8BTC in Mandarin Babi Te with his friend who's also a Bitcoin enthusiast. So their site is currently still active and topics their site include are um, Web3, AI, finance, investments, etc. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, Wu Han was really impressed by Bitcoin's technology, but then felt that Bitcoin needed more infrastructure to support it. That's why in 2013, he partnered up with his friend McCree John to find Bitmain Technologies. Bitmain is China's largest cryptocurrency mining chip supplier, and it specializes in selling ASIC chip miners. And more impressively, by 2018, Bitmain actually became the world's largest cryptocurrency mining chip supplier. They have a total market share of 75%. So in 2019, it was rumored that Bitmain secretly filed for IPO with the US SEC after a failed attempt in 2018 to go public in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. However, in 2021, Bitmain is still listed as a private company. So in 2021, Wu Zihan decided to step away from Bitmain as co-founder to focus on the two spin-off companies that he started. One is Bitdeer Technologies and the second one is Matrix Port. Matrix Port was founded in 2019 in Singapore and its aim is actually to act as a gateway or portal for investors to enter the new digital realm. This is just like Wu Zihan's favorite movie, The Matrix. The firm's strategy actually involves um, offering investment products, just like the ones on the Wall Street, but just for crypto investors. And their services include custody, trading, lending, and structured products. According to the Matrix Port website, they're currently dealing with a 5 billion USD monthly trading volume, 700 million plus outstanding loans, and 10 billion assets under management and custody. While Bitdeer is a mining platform that's listed on Nasdaq at a valuation of 4 billion, it currently operates five pools in the US and they have more than 100K mining units under its management. Bitdeer actually went live on Nasdaq on April 14th, 2023. According to this article on Yahoo Finance published on 20th of April this year, Bitdeer technologies have slipped more than 35% since April 14th. And Bitdeer reported a net loss of 60.4 million USD in 2022. So the reason why Wu Zihan left um, Bitmain to start two of his own companies was because the two founders actually had a lot of disagreements during the bear market for Bitmain. During the bear market, Bitcoin lost a lot of its value and Bitmain lost plenty of money. And they were also laying off a lot of their employees. Therefore, Wu Zihan started Bitdeer and Matrix Port as part of the settlement deal on Bitmain with McCree John. Wu Zihan never published publicly discussed the terms of the deals due to an NDA, but he did talk about the disagreement, which relates to strategic direction as well as a power struggle. But although he's already stepped down from chairman and CEO and co-founder of Bitmain, he still owns around 20% of Bitmain's stake, which is slightly less than McCree John's stake, which is 36%. Wu Zihan is an extremely resilient man. Even after so many bear market cycles, he still managed to bounce back and start various companies. He also topped the Forbes 2022 World's Billionaire list as one of the five richest billionaires in Asia. He's also always peeking around corners to preview the future of crypto, always finding ways to improve the infrastructure of crypto. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you find this episode helpful, don't forget to like, share, and comment down below to let us know who you want us to feature in the next China's Who's Who video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss out on anything crypto related. And until next time, bye!